let's move on to talk about the sunscreen labels. So it can be complicated because in the U.S., sunscreens are um, are regulated as drug products, and so you will find that they do have drug fact labeling on them. And uh, really, uh, what the information you need, most of it is on the front panel of the sunscreen. You'll find the SPF will be listed there, um, and we recommend again an SPF 15 or higher. Um, definitely SPF 30 or higher if your extended stays outdoors. Broad spectrum is incredibly important. Um, we talked about how you need broad spectrum to protect against both the UVA, the aging rays, and the UVB, the burning rays. And then um, look for the broad spectrum because only products labeled with that broad spectrum and SPF 15 or higher are um, really shown to, to reduce the risk of skin cancer and um, early skin aging and help against sunburn. Now, last week we saw an article in JAMA about water resistance. Um, the AAD recommendations or guidelines that talk about an SPF 30 broad spectrum as well as water resistance. Water resistance um, is a great benefit, especially for sport activities and, um, and for people that are, are very active and maybe sweating. Uh, while they're outside, but it's it's not critical for efficacy. There is an FDA test for water resistant and very water resistant, which is a, a 40 minute test and an 80 minute test, but um, it's not essential for efficacy for these products. So it, again, it's a consumer choice whether people want to have water resistant. Um, just so you know, waterproof is no longer allowed by the FDA, as well as wetproof. Those are claims that are not allowed because the FDA doesn't believe anything is fully waterproof. Um, so they've changed that language to water resistance. Um, also, there's there's also uh, a, a trend for uh, labeling products with natural and organic. Uh, natural and organic are not defined by the FDA. These are consumer marketing terms, and they do not determine safety in any way, so just keep that in mind. If you like natural and organic, that's fine, but it's not a safer product. Um, all the products have to be safe and effective, according to the FDA. There's also some other interesting claims out there that um, may be important to you, tear-free. Um, again, children's and baby products, that, that can be a great benefit when you're um, applying a product to a child. So there are some really interesting things out there uh, in, that you can look for on the label. Um, 